Well, our friend Greg LaBelle has stopped by. It wouldn't be a convention without you and the long nights of conversation. Yeah, here um, we go again. <laughs> let's, let's start with uh, day one. Uh, what most stands out about day one? Well, I think, like everybody, I'd have to say Michelle Obama's speech. It was a truly remarkable speech. It was from the heart. Uh, it, 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 it touched the, the right chord, I think, that idea of talking, what she has done for eight years, talking about her experience as a mother. Uh, and it goes back, really, to her speech in 2008, uh, which was also a brilliant speech. And she's just come so much farther since then in, in, terms, of her, uh, in terms of her speaking ability. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. So it was the highlight of the night. I actually think Cory Booker's speech was quite good, too. I think it kind of got lost. I have to tell you, when you bring Bill Clinton to his feet applauding, yes. you've done something very well, and yes. he did that last night. Were you... Um, did the kind of uh, protests that surfaced, I guess, a little bit, uh, did that surprise you? Was there enough of that, do you think, to get it out of the system, or... Are we going to continue to get that? Apparently not. Uh, um, I think it has continued through the day. There have been uh, sort of spot protests around Philadelphia. I think we'll see more. Uh, it was it was interesting because, for one thing, Cory Booker, the first African American senator from the state of New Jersey, is being subjected to chants of Black Lives Matter. I thought that was yes. an odd choice. Um, Elizabeth Warren, we don't trust we you. you we don't trust you, or we trusted you, yeah. was the chant. Um, I'm not sure what that accomplishes. I, 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 Joe Biden said it today, look, let them get it out of this system. I, that makes a lot of sense, but at some point, they've got to get it out of the system. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, Bernie's uh, speech? I thought Bernie hit all the right chords. I think he did what he needed to do. I thought he was convincing, uh, as evidenced by the fact that he's been booed at a couple of, by a couple of his delegations today which is also another interesting dynamic in this. But I think Bernie did a good job. What, what's the um, consistency or inconsistency with his speech last night and then his comments that he doesn't want to release uh, those who voted for him? I don't see a real inconsistency there. Um, I think he wants to, and again, I think this probably works to quell the Fuhrer. I think if if he uh, if, if he tried to release them, I think that might only increase the anger because clearly the anger is not, uh, he is not being spared the anger by some of his supporters, which says something, I guess, about, about what that's all about. But I think allowing them to vote, allowing them to cast those votes may be a strategic thing. There is talk that either he or the Vermont delegation tonight will call for, uh, would call for, uh, no, I didn't see it, so I probably shouldn't, but there was some talk about whether they would actually call for um, um, uh, affirmation on the uh, on the floor. I don't know whether that happened or not because I was in a cab, but. Would you see him now as in full cooperation and ready to go ahead with a passionate plea to uh, help her get elected? He says he is. I mean, that's what he said last night. I, I, I don't think we have any reason not to believe him. Uh, I think the question, and it doesn't really matter, how much of this is we can't have Donald Trump as president and how much of it is we really need Hillary Clinton for president. I don't know exactly what the mix is, but in a way it doesn't matter. He seems to be there. He seems to be on board, and he's, and he's talking more and more about what Clinton brings to the table, so I think that's that's what one can expect from him. What are we leaving out about last night that uh, needs to be said? Let me think, um, other than the terrible storm. Elizabeth Warren, her speech was okay. I think Elizabeth Warren is not good in these very large crowds. I think she's good somewhere between The Daily Show and you know a, a couple hundred people, because she's got a good message, it's an important message, but I think it, it just fell a little flat in uh, in this in this size of a crowd but yeah. uh, I mean it was important stuff to say and it was good for her to be there let me ask you one question Greg that's out of uh, sync with just the normal convention uh, discussion I know that you've got students here yeah. and uh, I'm curious as to how are those students reacting to their probably first exposure uh, to this kind of convention the first word that comes to, to mind is overwhelmed um, they were all here last night in the hall, um, and they were very excited about it. I think they're, uh, they're 
aren't quite at the point where they can start to sort of analyze what's going on. They're really, they've never seen anything quite like this. So they're really kind of pretty much overwhelmed by what they're seeing. Very excited about being here. Very happy about having the opportunity to sort of watch this play out. We've been doing a number of things with them during the day as well. Actually, they're going to be getting a tour of the uh, of the hall tomorrow morning uh, before the, the, the convention. So they'll get a chance to really see how this is all set up and, and, and so on and so forth. So I, they're, they're, they're absorbing a lot. They're, they're writing, they have to write some, something, a little journal every night. I haven't started reading them yet, but I know they're going to be interesting. So did anything not happen yesterday that you wanted to happen? I, you know, I, I thought they really, well, I would have said that had, um, um, had the chair not stepped down from speaking at the convention. If Debbie Wasserman Schultz, I think, had stayed, that would have been a problem. But uh, uh, I guess I wish she had done it 24 hours earlier, but she, she had to do it. And she had to know she had to do it. And I'm sure it was a very, very difficult decision for her. But uh, I think once that happened, that helped to sort of keep the lid on things a little bit. I really think the, the Clinton people did a really good job of taking this from where it was yesterday morning to where it where it ended up last night. Again, there was a little bit of chanting, a little bit of stuff going on, but it was it was it was kind of spotty, not what it not what it might have been, I think. Is uh, Bill President Bill Clinton is that the whole story for tonight? Undoubtedly, uh, because he's President Bill Clinton. Um, I re four year, you remember four years ago in Charlotte, I mean, he took the roof off the place, and I expect he'll do the same thing tonight. I think the big challenge for Clinton, uh, as, a, as, a, as a very good speaker, if there is um, heckling or anything of any kind, he knows as, as a speaker how to not deal with that. The, as a husband, I'm not sure if he'll, it's going to be interesting to see if he's able to actually um, um, fight off the urge to respond. I think that's going to be the big challenge for Bill Clinton up there. And that's going to be about more than just to, to tonight. Yes. That's going to be a long yeah. road. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We'll talk again tomorrow. Great. Looking forward to it. Okay.